Greetings all, Adrian Perryman here from Events by MV DJ Services. This is my second video blog. Uh, the first one I did I think was well received. I had a few people watch it. I think my dad watched it and I'm pretty sure Spambot watched it because I got a offer for a discount of Viagra in one of the, the blog comments. So it might be a good deal. We'll see. Uh, but I, this one I posted on Facebook asking people what they wanted to potentially hear about or, or see about. And, uh, and one person did comment, Angel, uh, asked, uh, what, what uh, do people get mad when I don't play songs they request? Also, I'll get to that in a second, so thank you for that, Angel. Uh, but that made me think about uh, how, I, how I select music. A lot of times brides and grooms and emails are ask, will ask me how I um, handle music for, for weddings and special events. I do my best to cater it to the specific event and meet with the bride and groom and get playlists and do not playlists and all those things because... Of course, I have a very large selection of music, music thousands and thousands of songs on my com computer, so the technology makes it easier to have plenty of songs at my fingertips, but um, uh, knowing what song to play is always difficult because you can never perfectly read a crowd. I've had weddings where uh, they have very specific musical tastes and, and requirements, and nobody knows the people at the, the, the wedding, your friends and family, better than the, the bride and groom, so I try and get as much information I've had. Um, some very specific songs requested that I normally, of course, wouldn't even, even have or play at a wedding. Uh, there's uh, a family that had a very specific dance to, to wipe out by the Beach Boys they did at every wedding. Um, there's uh, been bride sisters who knew every word to, to regulate it, so they wanted to, to rap that halfway through the wedding. Of course, I had that, but they just wanted it played. Uh, there's uh, Take Off by... Uh, the Mackenzie Brothers was a very specific song I'd never heard of until that wedding. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of a lot of hosers out there may not know what that song is. Uh, there's there's the Youpers. Um, I am in Minnesota, so there's a lot of uh, people who may know who they are. Other things like that, just very specific songs. So getting a list of songs they might want to hear, or, uh, or then, then a playlist. There's always the do people like the Cupid Shuffle, the Cha Cha Slide, those sort of things. Some people love it, some people hate it. Uh, that with Gangnam Style and other things like that. So getting to know what sort of music the bride and groom want is the is the best way to go about having the music ready for that night. Uh, of course, I do take requests as well. Um, and then with requests, I try and it depends on sort of the bride and groom and how specific they are. If they had a specific music they wanted, or if they're open to any music, or if there's a, a do not playlist they don't want to hear, I try and uh, I, I avoid the do not playlist unless it's like the end of the night and I ask the bride and groom if they're okay with the song being played or something like that. But for the most part, and then if the music flows with the rest of the music being played uh, with the, the playlist, I don't have a, a song for song order I go through. It's just a list of songs that I pick and choose which one to fit the mood and get people moving and up out of their seats or rotate the crowd if it's a diverse group of people and things like that. Um, but I, I definitely utilize the, the knowledge of the, the people I'm working with to, to get that information going. And then with requests, they definitely do come in. Usually, the, the, the more under the influence people are, the more likely they are to make requests. And as the night goes on, the, their social skills dwindle and dwindle. Uh, so they can be kind of demanding and needy, and so they do get upset sometimes if I don't play their songs. Uh, of course, everyone thinks the request is going to be the best request, so everyone's going to love this song, play it, they're going to do it. Sometimes it's a big hit, sometimes it's not at all, so I've learned when and when to and, and what when not to play requests of course if the bride and groom wants it and i'll play it it's their party it's whatever they want then there's always somebody who wants oh uh, will you play uh i don't know the, the barney theme song it's a big hit everybody will love it i have to question that because it's not a, a regular thing but um, you know, I'll, I'll play it if, if enough people want it or, or they may want it things like that but uh usually I have kids will come up eventually, they'll come up and ask for requests or certain songs or they'll come with their parent or people will come up with two people and they'll both come to me and one will say she wants this song so I was wondering why why didn't you just make the request instead of coming up with two people but uh, things happen uh, kids are usually intimidated at first probably because I usually am at the DJ booth just staring intently I'm just thinking and looking out at the crowd uh, but don't be intimidated feel free to come up and ask me if you want a song played I'll do my best to, to get it in uh, at some point um, with that. But yeah, people do get upset at times. They'll they'll have their drink in their hand, spilling it all over the place, and 
and make demands and get angry and things like that. But uh, I'm used to it from DJing in nightclubs and bars and things like that. Uh, but it's 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 always amusing um, when they are angry and upset about the the song they want played. I do my best to to make them happy. But sometimes the song is just outlandish and random or inappropriate or something like that, and it won't be played. But um, that is how I handle music. Uh, if anybody has any other questions about that, feel free to leave a comment or let me know uh, what questions you may have or things you may want me to talk about. But uh, if, uh, all my years of experience in music and when to play stuff, it is always best to get as much information from the, the event, whether it's the, the bride and groom at the wedding or the high school students for the dance or other things like that, to make sure that the music can be best catered to the, the needs and the enjoyment of the people in the, in the audience. So. Thanks for watching. Once again, if you have any questions, let me know and check out more information at www.eventsbymv.com. Thanks.